you know, that World Cup victory in Japan. I think for me, it's still surreal, you know. <laughs> you know, it's been so long, but, you know, every time I get to, you know, um, watch something on TV in regards to, you know, to that victory in Japan, you know, I still find myself, you know, just taken aback and, and, and enjoying and severing the moment in a big way because I think uh, it was such a, um, you know, a high point for for the Springboks, you know, and for so many individuals on the team. And I think, you know, I myself, I had played in two previous World Cups and not had any joy or success. And now eventually to, you know, lift the William Webb Ellis Trophy in my final World Cup was just incredible. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I can't even put it into words actually, because yeah, it is just unbelievable to actually, you know, think that we achieved what we did a year ago. And, uh, you know, what has happened this year has been quite tragic with COVID-19 ruining a lot of things for many people and also take, you know, taking away a lot of lives. But, uh, you know, um, through all of this, I think a lot of people have held on to that, you know, that massive um, victory that we accomplished last year and has helped them to to come through tough times, you know. I think a lot of people have been basing, you know, their philosophies in the workplace, in their life in general, you know, um, on what the Springboks achieved last year. And um, I think, you know, that victory, you know, stood for so much more than just playing rugby, you know. It represented so many um, people from many different backgrounds, different races, different cultures, different backgrounds. You know, you just show that when you come together and, um, you know, buy into the plan and you work towards one common goal, you can achieve greatness and you can defy the odds, man. So I think for me, yeah, it's still uh, uh, unbelievable. And chasing the sun is obviously bringing, bringing back the memories in a big way as well. Um, so I'm, I'm just so grateful that I was part of that team. And, uh, you know, I could end my career in that manner, something that I'll be proud of for the rest of my life, you know, that I'll tell my great, my great kids one day, you know, of what happened in Japan. And, uh, yeah, truly incredible. So, 